My name is Robin Freeman. I'm a research fellow at University College London, uh, and I'm part of uh, the summer science exhibition exhibit, the Technology for Nature, so it's calling itself, and that's a project with UCL, Microsoft Research in Cambridge, and the Zoological Society of London, where we're exploring new devices, new technologies, new methods to better understand the natural world and to conserve it better. And I think that. A lot of the things that we're going to be showing are about devices and technologies, but it's important to stress that it's not just about gadgets. It's about asking fundamental questions about how the natural world changes using these new technologies and the things they can do. What's it like to be a scientist? I think that being a scientist is, is great. Obviously, I do it, so I think it's great. It has its upsides and its downsides. There's boring things you have to do, but it's one of the few careers where you're able to continue to ask questions about how things work. Uh, and that's something that's always driven me, it's what's probably inspired me to be a scientist, is that throughout my career, I've always wanted to know how things work, how they're put together, how they change. And being a scientist is one of the few careers where you can continually ask that question. And in fact, that's your job, is to work out how these things work. And I think that's probably one of the best things about being a scientist, is the ability to do that as your day-to-day -day job. I started working for UCL a couple of years ago as a research fellow. Before that, uh, originally I was a computer scientist. That's what I did my degree in after I was at school. And I went and I learned how to program and how to uh, understand computational systems. But actually, that wasn't what really interested me. What interested me was how animals behave. And so part of my undergraduate degree in computing was artificial intelligence, so learning how intelligence works. And then I went on to do a master's and a PhD eventually at Oxford, where I was tracking animals, learning how they move, where they go in space, and trying to understand their behavior. And that eventually has led me to UCL, where I continue to ask those questions. We put devices on animals, we learn how they move, we try and understand their behavior in the real world. I think if to a school child who's interested in science, I think interest is the most important thing. I think that if you have a passion about a particular question or a system or a problem and you want to know how it works, hold on to that because you can learn the maths, the statistics, all those things, even if they seem hard, you can learn how to do them to answer the questions. And there's a whole range of scientists who have different strengths and weaknesses, whether they know about computational systems or statistics or mathematical problems. There's always a role for a scientist who has that passion about how a problem needs to be examined.